Dr. Kim Cotterell from Venice, California is known as the Frog Man. First, he built the Rocket One, a trike he made famous in England. Next came the 1,000 horsepower blown hemi Rocket Two, as seen on Jay Leno's Garage. Now, Randy Grubb is building his Rocket Three, an outrageous quad. Where did I meet Frog Man? Well, it all started very innocently with a phone call, just a few years ago when Frog needed Rocket Two built. And of course, I referred him to my buddy, Michael Leeds, who handled most of the build and did a great job. So when he started to talk about how do I do Rocket 3, well, here we are. It's actually a quad, not a trike, and Correct. it's going to be really a boundary breaker. I'm really looking forward to working with the frog prince on this wonderful project. You got it, Randy. All right. You're the man. All right. Why did I choose Randy Grubb? Because he's the best at all this kind of aluminum, hand-formed aluminum work. Rocket 2 showcased the beautiful blown Hemi engine. Rocket 3, this quad, you're not even going to see the engine. It's going to be super streamlined, all high polished aluminum, aerodynamic, super slick. This machine will be a fantastic freeway flyer. Okay, our original mounting location for the shocks has been moved from this low location with the shocks kind of hidden underneath the seat to moving them back here to where they'll show a lot more and they'll become a lot more visual feature. We talked about a bunch of different places to put these coilovers. At one point we were going to mount it here and then we were going to mount it here and guess what? We threw them away and didn't use them at all and we ended up with a quarter elliptical. Okay, you saw us cut these beautiful swing arms. Attaching them to the frame was the next step with the bearing and now it's a matter of suspending the whole thing with some sort of spring. I came up with this quarter elliptical design. It's totally unique. No one's ever done anything like this to my knowledge. And not only is it functional, but it's aesthetically beautiful. Notice how the arc of the spring is following the arc of the swing arm. What we're going to try right now is jacking the rear end up and putting the load on the quarter elliptical spring until we lift off. Okay, we just lifted off our blocks. So at this point, the spring is actually supporting the engine transmission and back half of the frame. So now it's a matter of figuring out, do we have enough spring rate? So you got to figure that we're going to be adding at least another couple hundred pounds to this thing. This line is getting really close now. We're getting very close to the line. fuel tank can be down in here and you want that plastic one but I can make you one that fits yeah. right in yeah. here and holds you more and lays Eight down. Eight to ten is all I need. all you need. I want it to come in like a motorcycle, the old you know racing tank on a motorcycle. I want to draw it for you as well. But yeah. I want it to have a motorcycle feel with a filler in the middle. The shock absorber is the only thing we have to add and guess what we got another really cool way to do that. 
we're going to actually extend the top of the shackle up and put a, a oil filled shock absorber extending back so it'll fill one more space by the time we put the propeller shaft as Tim calls it or the drive shaft as Americans call it mm -hmm. in this thing it's really a lot of packaging in a very small spot and it really came out great if it hadn't been for guys like Ron Kroom doing the beautiful machine work it never would have got to this point it's a team effort that's what it takes is the designer and the builder and then the machinists to bring it all together okay okay so we've had a lot of fun building the chassis and now it was great because frog came up and we got to lay out the body and you know he's got a definite vision of where he was going with this how would you describe it frog i always loved those big old auto union cars from the 30s monstrous engine tire spinning tire smoking this is the feel that i'm going to get with this thing polished aluminum Art Nouveau, Art Deco, big swells at the side for fuel tanks, gas tanks, lots of noise, lots of smoke, very dangerous, it's going to be fantastic. <laughs> okay, this is the last time you get to see this project for quite a while. It goes under wraps until the whole thing is completely done. The body will be done next time you see it. I can hardly wait to get on to pound and metal. See the story on Randy Grubb's Decopods in Car Culture Deluxe Magazine, issue 62. Check it out here at Randy Grubb's Garage or at randygrubb.com.